Hello and welcome to the special presentation of Ionic at 30. My name is Logan Braid. I'm a developer advocate at OutSystems for the Ionic team. And today we're going to be talking about all things Ionic. In this presentation, we're going to be going over everything you need to know about Ionic, what we offer, and some of the new stuff that's been going on over the last few months. We're going to be talking about all these things in roughly 30 minutes. Uh, I am going to take a different approach than a normal webinar and kind of incorporate some video into this. And of course, this is pre-recorded, so you can always come back to it in the future. But while it is pre-recorded, feel free to reach out to me at any of my socials, our Discord, or through the forum if you have any questions. Again, my name is Logan Braid. I'm a developer advocate at OutSystems for the Ionic team. I spent nine years now in the enterprise app development space prior to joining the Ionic team. Uh, I started my career as a software developer, worked my way up to a director of applications development, and even worked as a technical architect for a little while. I've, been, I've worked with multiple different mobile app ecosystems, including Ionic. I've encountered many challenges in the mobile app development space with native technologies, and now I'm a huge proponent of cross-platform development. An opportunity arose for me to join the team here, so I jumped at it, and I've been here for a little over a year now. As someone who's had to navigate the mobile app development space as a developer to leading a dev team, I know how difficult it can be, and I just wanna help make the development experience just that much easier. Okay, let's go ahead and dive into it. But again, you can always reach out to me uh, through the socials that are listed here. All right, so what is Ionic? If you're here, you likely know about Ionic. However, if this is your first time joining us, let's talk about what Ionic is. It's basically everything that you need to build and ship amazing applications, whether that's iOS, Android, desktop, web apps, using web technologies. We create tools to make it easier to build the apps that you want to build with a single code base that you can deploy on multiple platforms. You're getting an open source cross-platform SDK formed with three hit open source projects that include the Ionic Framework, Capacitor, and the Ionic CLI. Enterprise tools, we'll talk about that shortly. And if you've seen this presentation before, I promise you, you haven't seen this yet, and I'm not going to ruin the surprise. Uh, we also have plug and play solutions and integrations to create highly secure applications. And on top of that, Ionic offers complete continuous integration, continuous delivery cloud services to deliver your applications to the market when the time comes. And of course, you can get uh, access to full enterprise support to ensure your enterprise dev team can get past any obstacles that they may hit along the way. So even if you are aware of what Ionic is, you might not know the impact that we've had. We're truly a leader in the mobile app development landscape. And as you can see from the charts, we power 9% of all apps in the Apple App Store and 15% of all apps in the Google Play Store. These are some truly incredible numbers and the percentages continue to grow day after day. So from the 10,000 foot view, what is the Ionic platform? It's easy to think of it as four main pillars, build, secure, connect, and deliver. There's obviously so much that goes into building mission critical enterprise applications. And you can see that through three of the four of these pillars that we have here, we're gonna be primarily focusing on the build side. What makes up our build pillar is the culmination of all of our open source and some of our enterprise software. There's some pretty cool tech that goes into it. So let's talk about building cross-platform mobile applications. Before diving in, let's talk about some of the issues with traditional app development. In order to deploy iOS, Android, web, or even desktop applications, you typically need some level of specialized skills to do so, with each of these form factors requiring a unique set of skills and tooling that takes time to master. This ends up creating a silo effect, where disparate teams end up working on their versions of the application within their own code bases, and it requires a ton of added communication and project management to keep the teams in alignment. To be honest, many teams do not have the time, money, or even resources to dedicate to multi-platform applications. As someone who's had to work on multiple multi-platform applications, it puts a lot of stress on development teams, and it's just it's insanely difficult to maintain project parity amongst the projects while maintaining the tech. The reality is, is that it's not a sustainable process, and we can drastically simplify this process. Ionic solves each of these problems. Ionic simplifies the development model entirely. You no longer need an iOS team, an Android team, a desktop team, a web team, all working independently to get the job done. Instead, you only need your web team and their current skill set to get the same job done with a single code base with the ability to deploy your applications to every platform. All this through our open source SDK called the Ionic SDK. 
The Ionic SDK is a cross-platform mobile app development kit where you can build multi-experience apps with just a single code base. The structure kind of looks like this. You have your app's user interface made up of components from Ionic's UI toolkit. This UI toolkit is built on top of the open web technologies that you know and love, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, which is then bundled and wrapped in native bridge and runtime using Ionic Capacitor then ultimately deployed to the native platform of your choice, whether that's iOS, Android, or even the progressive web. So let's dig a little deeper now into what makes up this open source SDK. Ionic Framework comes packed with a library of over 100 building block components that are of course mobile ready by design. They can be fully customized and vary in complexity from single simple components like buttons up to more complex components like date time pickers. You can combine these components to make more macro level components like social cards that include images, titles, descriptions, and even action buttons. They are easy to use, plug and play into your application, and work with other components as well as other components from other libraries. Best of all, these components are made to work everywhere and you get to pick and choose how and when you want to use them. Another zero configuration solution packed into the Ionic framework is adaptive styling. The UI toolkit is shipped with platform-aware components, which means it'll fit right into your user's platform. This is done in an effort to drive the platform continuity that mobile app users have come to know and expect from their applications. The cool part is, is that these designs are always evolving and the Ionic team is hard at work keeping the components up to date with their native counterparts. On top of that, we provided gesturing and animation libraries to allow you to bring your apps to life. The other piece of our open source SDK is the bridge to native device features and native runtime, which we affectionately call Capacitor. In a nutshell, it powers the deployment of our web projects to iOS, Android, and the desktop. Capacitor's native plugin library includes drop-in solutions for common device features like access to the camera, the file system, notifications, and even geolocation. This means that there is really no limitations to what you can build. Anything native features that you need, you can access through the official plugins offered by Ionic, plugins built and maintained by our awesome community members, or even on your own if you have native development experience. If you don't see what you need to build already, we have docs, blogs, as well as tutorials on our YouTube channel that can help you so that any custom plugin development should be a smooth process. Ultimately, with a powerful and intuitive CLI, it's easy to get started with your first Ionic project. First, you install the Ionic CLI globally, then type out a complete start command to name your app, choose a template like tabs, side menu, or even a blank slate if you want, and pick your framework of choice. And after that, you can navigate your app and serve, and then you're off and running with your cross-platform application. Now, during the development, deployment, and use of our open source SDK, we realized that those tools solved a ton of problems, but it didn't fully solve the challenges associated with the enterprise application development experience. So we decided to use our ingenuity to solve these problems that businesses face during the mobile app development process. But before diving into those solutions, what are the problems that enterprises face? As I demonstrated, Framework and Capacitor can solve a lot of problems with the mobile app development process, but not every problem is a technical problem. The reality is, is that we as developers talk a lot about scalability, but rarely do development teams have the time, money, or resources to scale our applications in a sustainable way when we initially build our projects, and they typically grow to this. There are some real problems with traditional app development. Enterprise app development is complex, sometimes requires dozens of teams, and may even be separated by feature specialization. Code bases are large, involve legacy components, and are hard to unravel, and it might even use different frameworks. And the reality is, is that apps likely can't be sunset overnight to start a whole new mobile app project from scratch with our open source SDK, and we recognize that. Cue the Super App SDK, an all-in-one solution for large organizations who want to develop a unified brand experience for the workplace, their customers, and more that allow companies to modularize their smaller applications and incorporate them into a single Super App or deconstruct their monolithic applications to more manageable pieces. With the Super App SDK, your enterprise teams can have efficient development, so your teams can develop, debug, and deploy mini apps independently and push updates directly to users' devices with live updates. Uh, 
uh, seamless integration. So the Super App shares core features across many apps like login and authentication. So there's no need to switch between applications. You can reuse code and leverage existing talent. So web teams can contribute to native apps by turning web experiences into integrated mini applications. And you can share data between apps securely. So data stored using biometric protection is available for offline use and can be passed between the core app and mini applications. Not to mention the flexibility of custom application experiences for your users at the mini app layer, the ability to build, deploy, and update faster, which I will touch on that in a few minutes, and support and advisory from the Ionic team. So now one thing I do want to stress about the Super App SDK is the ability to reuse your code in multiple platforms. If you've ever had to build features like authentication, authorization workflows, which I have, you understand the complexity around scaling those workflows to multiple platforms and just how life-saving and cost-effective it is to build it just once. Not to mention, you have the ability to empower your team and you can get to work on the features that can help you be successful not spend time replicating workflows for multiple platforms. So let's go ahead and check out the Super App SDK. Here I have a Super App demo set up. This is a native iOS application that we call a Super App Core App that has three mini applications embedded inside the core application. So let's go ahead and log into this. Here we have a directory application that is a view mini application built with Ionic View. And the purpose of this app is to replicate an employee directory where colleagues can find their contact information for others within the organization. Next, we have a Kudos mini app built using React leveraging Ionic React. The intent of this app is to simulate a workplace app that is a business might embed in their super app and allows employees to recognize their coworkers. So let's go ahead and try to give some kudos here. Give five to just Crin right there. Give it, bam, there we go. Lastly, we have an expenses mini application. This expenses mini application is built using Angular with Ionic Angular and is used to demonstrate an expenses application where users would log and log purchases. So let's go ahead and give this a shot. We will add a merchant name, we'll just call it, actually we'll call it Ionic for the amount of $1. And we'll just put a note of test, log it, and then our expenses should be on there. As you can see, we have multiple different applications using different technologies embedded into a single iOS application. We have the ability to easily navigate from one application to another, and it uses portals to embed web applications into the native application. We have Auth0 integration for authentication and authorization, and all the data is securely locked in the application based on role. If you would like to see more of this application, we have a working demo that you can see if the Super App SDK works for you, as well as all the documentation that'll help you start building your own Super Apps. Now that we've seen the Super App SDK, let's talk about other problems enterprises may come across. Enterprises are in a unique position where they might already have iOS and Android developers working on their platforms. While this isn't inherently a problem, it can lead to challenging development cycles where you can't reuse code cross-platform, so you are doubling costs with feature development. You might have developers with lulls in their development cycles, or in the case of web developers, they might not be able to contribute to the code base at all. And if you do want to leverage web developer talent, you might be stuck with generic web views that hurt your overall app experience. Or worse, you could be spending development cycles trying to fix the web views, taking away from building the cool things that you can build for your users and that developers really want to work on. Our solution is portals. Now, the Super App SDK does use portals, but we do offer it as a standalone solution from the SDK. So what exactly is portals? Portals are micro front ends that allow multiple teams to build, test, and ship in parallel with hyper-focused embedded web experiences in your Android and iOS mobile apps. At its core, it allows native iOS and Android developers to embed dynamic web views into their native applications in a seamless and integrated way. 
This includes a powerful API for enhanced native experiences. So Portals provides powerful cross-platform API to expose native functionality for embedding rich web applications in a controlled manner, a robust web to native communication bridge, and cloud services for real-time app updates and more. Of course, there's rich native features and functionality. Since capacitors under the hood, app development teams can build their own custom native features and easily expose it to the web view. Likewise, the many plugins available in Capacitor Core, like the ones we talked about, offer a drop in features and functionality exactly when you need it. You can access control to your mobile projects so native development teams can get granular control over which parts of the app, including specific features and data, the web team can access when collaborating on a mobile project. Of course, there's increased app development velocity with web content, so you can enable your web development teams to bring existing rich web experiences from dynamic forms, pre-existing pages, and workflows, and incorporate them seamlessly into the native application. This allows you the ability to focus on building new experiences that require native code to shine. Before I mention the four main pillars of the Ionic platform, which were build, secure, connect, and deliver. You just had a taste of everything our open source and enterprise solutions can provide, including a small demo in order to build your cross-platform mobile applications. But let's talk about securing your enterprise SaaS platform. In its entirety, the secure native extensions include auth, storage, and biometrics. When combined through what we often refer to as the security trifecta, you get a secure authentication workflow, identity biometrics, and on-device storage. Not only is it a triple threat, but it stops you and your developer teams from having to build these things from scratch. Next up in the pillars of Ionic is Connect. With any great enterprise SaaS platform comes the need for third-party apps and services. We have a rich library of third-party app integrations. Third-party integrations make it quick and easy to extend your app's functionality, all while not having to build them yourself. Ionic has gone through great lengths to ensure that you can connect your apps with popular services that you'll likely need to use during the development process, including payment processing workflows for Apple and Google, AWS services, Google Maps, social media platforms, and major authentication authorization providers. Each plugin is built such that it creates an easy to use API around each of these services to make your development experience that much easier. Last but not least, let's talk about the deliver pillar. Let's talk about our CI/CD cloud app management and delivery platform, AppFlow. From the singular tool, you can manage your entire infrastructure. You can build native app binaries and automatically deploy them to the app stores. You can commit your code to source control integrations like Git and have AppFlow deploy live app updates in a matter of minutes. And it's all built to work with your existing enterprise CI CD tooling with the likes of GitHub, Bitbucket, GitLab, Jenkins, Travis CI, and others. With all that being said, come be a part of our worldwide developer community. Our Ionic Framework project has over 70,000 stars on GitHub, ranking among the top 150 of all repositories, an audience of over 151,000 people on Twitter, Bex, whatever it's called nowadays, and over 30,000 questions on Stack Overflow, where community members are supporting each other and helping one another when they get stuck, as well as over 100 different global meetup groups. And that leads us to the end of the special presentation of Ionic and 30. I just wanted to say thank you for watching this special presentation and taking time out of your schedule to see what we're up to at Ionic. Of course, if you have any questions, definitely check out our forum, Discord, docs, blogs, or even our YouTube channel. Again, my name is Logan Braid. I'm a developer advocate at OutSystems for the Ionic team, and I hope to catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.